How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I was at the Korean market and I found this angry chapaguri from Nongshim. Angry means spicy, right? When I first had the bowl version of chapaguri, I didn't quite realize that it was a mixture of two different popular ramen, which is chapagetti and neoguri, which is their Nongshim spicy noodle brand. So they mix this spiciness with the chapagetti, which is this kind of like darkish noodle thing. It's kind of like a dry noodle. So then instead of just a dark color dry noodle, they made it a little bit more spicy, sort of like a mixture between the two. Today, let's give this a try. But first, let's take a look at the packaging and how to cook it. Nongchim, remember to check the best before date and that your ramen is not expired. Once it is, it probably went a little bit rancid. It seems like they're taking a page out of the Sam Yang thing where they have like a little cute mascot. Now we got a, I think this is a raccoon. Okay, yeah, the tail means it's a raccoon because it's striped and I can't really read that, but it's so spicy that it's breathing fire and fire's coming out of its eyes. So this is a Jiajang noodles with spicy seafood flavor. Spicy seafood, it's neoguri. Jiajang noodles is chapagetti. Wow, look, it got these little, I think these are fish cake things. And it's gonna be in the shape of the raccoon. One thing to note is that you see I'm squeezing it. And this thing is, is dense. It's kind of like, there's, it, there's some heft to it. And there's a lot of noodles to be eaten. It's 4.93 ounces, 630 calories, 1,210 milligrams, pretty high in sodium. 350 milliliters of water, which is pretty low for soup type noodles, but this is not a soup type noodle. It is kind of like a dry-ish noodle. You put in the sauce mix, flakes, vegetable oil, and noodles. You boil for five minutes or four minutes if you want al dente, and then you just serve. Open it up here. I like the look of this noodle. It looks extra fluffy, extra wide, extra chewy. The seasoning oil, the flakes, and the sauce mix is this brown color. What do you know? They really do have this raccoon style, um, whatever this is. And of course the oil, I'm not gonna open it until later. About one and a half cups of water or 350 ml. Five minutes, start. Put in the ramen. The flakes, the flavoring packet, the spicy oil. Mix it all up. With only one and a half cups and boiling for five minutes, seems like the water is gonna get reduced quite a bit. It's about four and a half minutes. I'm gonna turn down the heat. I'm not the type to like dry noodles particularly, but this actually looks pretty good. You can see, well, after it's cooked here, you got the little raccoon guy. Another one, another one. Obviously the most important thing is to eat the raccoon first. Tastes like rehydrated fish cake and it's spicy. Try some of the seaweed. Doesn't taste rehydrated at all, actually, for the seaweed. And I think this is a little bit of carrot. I guess it's like a seafood smell and taste. Hmm. I actually like this. Like more than the chapaguri by itself. Angry chapaguri. Hmm. Hmm. Not insanely spicy. I can totally see me getting this again and again. A little salty. A little seafoody, spicy. I like it. The noodles are pretty chewy. Although I would have to say, I still like the Samyang carbonara noodles. Those are a little bit fatter than these, but these are really chewy though. It's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. It's just like a sauce type of thing. Jiajiang is supposed to be like a bean type base noodle. Like the sauce is made out of bean. I really dig these raccoon little bits and pieces. I wouldn't call it sweet, but there is a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm sure they added a little bit of sugar. It's definitely less spicy than the Samyang original, less spicy than most of that, but it's more spicy than Nongshim Shin Ramen. 
quite a bit more. Mm. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying this, surprisingly. The regular chapaguri, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, yeah. You know, I'm not really into the dry jang jang, jang jang noodle, but this, when it's spicy and seafood, I see why it's new. Good job, Nongshim. <coughs> Going, <coughs> this is not the fault of the noodle. Sometimes when you eat spicy stuff, you gotta be very careful. <coughs> it doesn't go down the right wrong pipe. I need some water. <coughs> not because of the spiciness. It is because I'm trying to talk at the same time as I'm eating. Okay. Surprisingly good. It's spicy enough to make my nose run, but it does really seem like this is trying to compete with the Samyang noodle. It's the same kind of like dry-ish noodle thing and it's spicy just like it. The noodle size is almost just like it. It's just, it's great that they have their own thing where they have a uh, chapaguri, which is a popular thing. So will I recommend this noodle? Yes, it's very good. Do give it a try. I just bought one single packet. You should always do this with a new kind of noodle so you don't have to get stuck with like a five pack if you don't really like it or anything. So just eat one single one first. If you go, wow, that's great. Okay, buy more of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gives you an idea of what this flavor tastes like. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.